You know what, later on I'll ask you some of the, the, the actors that you've worked with in film that have had a huge impression on you, but right now let's talk about um, when you came to Canada, what were your first thoughts after coming from some place that was nice and warm and, and temperate? Well, what did you think of, uh, where did you come to first in Canada? Well, okay, I first, when I first came, I lived in Oakville, mm -hmm. okay? okay? But I came because my father had seen me <laughs> in St. Vincent earlier that year. He was yeah. living in Oakville. Right. So he came for a visit and saw me and uh, got off the plane around six o'clock and by seven o'clock we had finished a bottle of rum <laughs> and I had consumed most of it. Right, okay. So apparently he decided that I was drinking too much and mm -hmm. um, it, it, having consumed that, it didn't have any sort of deleterious effect on me. So <laughs> 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 a little worried. And, uh, so mm -hmm. anyway, he decided he'd get me up and in very short notice he sent a cable saying, come to Toronto by such and such a date. I have you enrolled at Ryerson. Hmm. Uh, you've got a choice of architecture or RTA, Radio and Television Arts. Uh, what would you like? I cable back saying, uh, Radio and Television Arts. Mm. Of course, he enrolled me in architecture. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I came uh, and we, he was living in Oakville at that time. Mm -hmm. So I'd have to commute every day to Ryerson here. Right. Right, uh, cool. uh, by bus, and in those days you didn't have an express, you'd stop at Clark's and you knew all the names of the li villages and towns mm -hmm. in between, Port Credit, everything had it there, Oakville. So that'll take some time to go to and from school, and it was cold. My skin was cracking, and, you know, <laughs> but I'd get in, in the shower and I'd have this hot water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because in the showers here, I, I played f uh, soccer for Rice and Rice and Rams, and the guys would get in the shower in this hot water. You know, I couldn't yeah. take it that hot, but I would still. Yeah. Really. Anyway, that was uh, it was cold, but you know, there's a thing. Uh, I'm here. I have to get accustomed to it. Mm -hmm. And I said, if they can do it, I can do it too. Right. You know, um, learned about Tim Hortons and. <laughs> <laughs> what did you learn about Tim Hortons? Well, Tim Hortons actually had a hamburger joint on Young Street. Really? Yes, and like some some of us used to go from the architecture to the for lunch. For Tim Hortons, huh. joint, a hamburger joint. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. I didn't know that. Oh yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. So, but then I came here, and uh, like I mentioned, I used to play soccer. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, one day we were practicing at Regent Street Park and on the way back, mm -hmm. this guy from Trinidad, Fred Thornhill said, um, listen, I'm going by an audition here. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't you come with me before you go home? You have time to kill. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, he said, come on, you, you, you must know about acting. You play the ass to watch it. <laughs> ah, I don't know. Said, anyway, come on, let's go. You can put, I put your name. No, 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 don't put my name down. I'm not gonna, I'll come mm -hmm. with you but I'd, I'd see what you got. Mm -hmm. So I went and um, they held these auditions. And I'm looking what's, looking what's going on and whatnot, and mm -hmm. so that my name is called. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shock, mm -hmm. but you know, I'm looking at them, I said, well, I can do that too, sure. So I went up and I did the audition. So the time passed when they were supposed to announce the cast and the play. And then you keep hearing they're changing the play and whatnot and so on. Finally, I got a call saying they want me to play Sakini in the House of the August Moon. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. So there you go. So it was a fairly big production. So Ernie Schwartz is the director. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know Ernie Schwartz. He was a production manager for Mervis Productions before he retired some years ago. Okay. Yeah, mm, he wa was also at the Red Barn, which I resuscitated with John Dee in 1973. Mm. Uh, yes, so anyway, wow. while I was there, I did the play. And Andy Selms, who was, the last thing I remember him being was a general manager for the National Arts Center in Ottawa. Okay. He helped to organize that and open it and everything, Andy. So, <sighs> At the end of the, the show, there was a party, and Ernie Schwartz asked me, why am I doing architect? He said, I, you should be an actor. I said, well, no, I'm not so sure why, because <laughs> I haven't had physics. 
Mm-hmm. So I'm way behind, and it's really getting to me. And uh, I didn't want to tell him I was a bit besotted from years of drinking at home, <laughs> <laughs> having a good time, right? So mm-hmm. anyway, but the the physics was really getting to me, so mm-hmm. I couldn't keep up with that, and I decided I'd drop out and go again the next year. Mm-hmm. But in the meantime, he he invited me to join a group he had. They would do improvs and uh, dancing and movement and stuff with Bianca Rougier was one of the people in that. And he had a, a, the group would perform children's shows on weekends, at the colonnade and stuff like that. Hmm. 75 bucks a week for two shows? Man, that was okay. (laughs) I said, sure, yes. So I I Mm. did that and um, while I was there, one of the members, uh, in the improv, improv group came in with a brochure about it being set up for an appointment to do an audition for the National Theatre School of Canada. So right. I thought, well, if you could do that, I could do that too. So I applied. Right. And this was early in the National Theatre School's history. Yes. Wasn't it? Yes, okay. This is 1964. Right. So um, actually, so then, no, 65, early 65, I applied. Mm-hmm. And uh, so happened I got in, but he didn't. Oh. But he was persistent. He applied the next year and got in the next year. Hmm. Yeah. So that's that's how I got into theater. But I used to look at people on the screen. You know, the, the theater was the movies. That was right. 